You are listening to Sacred Heart of Jesus Radio, a ministry of the Order of the Sacred Heart of Jesus. Hello everyone and welcome to today's evening prayer. We begin by saying in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Sacred Heart of Jesus, we pray that you watch over us as we... Excuse me. O living breath from heaven, we thank you for watching over us through the day. Sacred Heart of Jesus, without you we would not have made it. Sacred Heart of Jesus, we pray that you watch over us as we sleep tonight. Bless us with the covering of your Holy Spirit, O Sacred Heart, our Lord. Adorable and precious heart, grant that your grace may come and quiet our hearts. We seek comfort and refuge inside your gentle heart, O Sacred Heart of Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, meek and humble you died on the cross for us. Yet aware of your great sacrifice, we have continued to sin against you. Your sacred heart has shown us perfection. You have given us all your love, but we have not loved you with a whole heart. We have not followed your example. When your sacred heart invited us to love our neighbors and our enemies as we love ourselves, we turned and walked away. When you gave us the opportunity to be merciful and forgive those who have hurt us, we often close our hearts instead. We prostrate ourselves before your throne and implore that you forgive our sins. Purify our hearts so that we may perfectly and worthily love and magnify your sacred heart. Amen. Amen. O sacred heart, what could we bring to you in order to give you thanks? For as the day progressed, you provided for us beyond measure. Your generous heart gave to us without condition, even though you have every right to demand from us. Holy, holy, holy Lord, we offer you our hearts and pray that you place them in your sacred heart. Allow us to dwell in your sacred heart so that we may be transformed in such a way that tomorrow we will awaken with a burning desire to love you and serve you day and night. O blessed sacrament, the tabernacle of our heart desperately needs you. Without you it is cold and empty, but with you it comes to life. Here we are, Lord, we prostrate before you, knowing that your mercy will cover us with unending blessings because of your unending grace. Let us be a blessing to those around us. Amen. Amen. We now take this moment to bring to mind the needs of the Christian church. We especially pray for our persecuted brothers and sisters who suffer at the hands of those who hate Jesus. Lord, we pray that you send your angels before them to remove all obstacles out of their way and to encamp around them and protect them from all attacks of the enemy. We also pray, Heavenly Father, For those who persecute your people. That your Holy Spirit may touch their hearts. So that their eyes may be opened. And they may become your followers. And Lord, we pray for all bishops. Especially we pray for Archbishop Brown. We pray for all the apostles priests, missionaries, deacons, religious, and all people, that all of us 
who serve you, all of us to seek to do your will, may have a merciful and loving heart, just like your heart, and that in every encounter that we have with each other, whether it is a friendly encounter or, or adversarial encounter, that we may always seek to put you first and to give glory and honor to your name and to give victory to your mercy and compassion. And Lord, we also pray for Excuse me one minute, please. Somebody sent a prayer today. A very important prayer. And we pray for Brenda. Have mercy on Brenda and hear her prayer, Lord. Brenda has a great niece. An eight-year-old little girl whose name is Liam. And she has been admitted to the Children's Hospital for IV treatment to reduce swelling in her limbs. And she is having some kidney problems. Now, Jesus, all things are possible with you, and you are certainly capable and willing to heal her. And we come before you, Lord, and pray for this little girl. And as we pray, let your Holy Spirit descend upon her, and that your Holy Spirit will heal her little body, so that she may be able to recuperate from her kidney problems and whatever it is that she is experiencing, and be able to go home to her parents, walking healthy and standing tall. We also pray for the physicians that are working with her. The knowledge and the ability that they have. They have achieved because you gave it to them. And so we pray that you will give them the ability and understanding about what it is that's truly affecting this young child. So that they can provide the best possible care for her. And Lord, we also pray for all those who are sick with cancer, lupus, multiple sclerosis, diabetes, autoimmune diseases, mental health problems, drug addiction, or any other form of addiction. We pray for an end to the Ebola outbreak. We pray for grieving families. Gracious Father, we pray for the homeless, the poor, the unemployed, and the oppressed. We pray for an end to domestic violence, an end to the abuse of women and children, and an end to abortion. We also bring to you, Lord, the special intentions for the order of the sacred heart of Jesus. Lord, we pray that when we come together for prayer, we may pray in the Spirit at all times, in every prayer and supplication. Lord, have mercy. Merciful Father, without your Holy Spirit we are nothing but emptiness and confusion. Let us be filled with the Holy Spirit, so that we may be inspired to pray according to your will and purpose. Lord, have mercy. Gracious Father, as you fill us with your Holy Spirit, let the manifestation of the Spirit be given to us. Grant us a message of wisdom. Grant us a message of knowledge, increase our faith. Bless us with the gifts of healing. Give us miraculous powers. Give us the gift of prophecy, the gift of distinguishing between spirits, the gift of speaking in different kinds of tongues, and the gift of interpretation of tongues, all according to your will, and for the glory of your holy name. Lord, have mercy. Lord Christ, in your mercy you have called us to serve you. We pray that you will guide us and inspire us by the Holy Spirit, so that when we speak, a message may be given to us to make known with boldness the mystery of the gospel. 
Lord have mercy. Heavenly Father, we live in a time when the world attempts to contaminate every aspect of our life with contradictions to your word. Help us to be strong in you, God, and to rely on your power. Put your armor on us, God, so that we may be able to stand against the tricks of the devil. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, many refuse to hear your holy message and are being deceived by the enemy. The harvest is plentiful, but the workers are few. We pray, according to your will, that you send out workers into your harvest field, that upon hearing your gospel, many will repent, be baptized, and be saved by your unending grace. Lord, have mercy. King of peace, as you ask, whom shall I send to proclaim your message of salvation into the world? Here am I, send me. Look kindly upon you. Servants gather here today and use each of us according to your gifts as ambassadors of your holy message here in our cities and around the world. Lord, have mercy. Lord God, Heavenly King, revive us and we will call on your name. Restore us, O Lord, God Almighty. Make your face shine upon us that we may be saved. Bring a revival to each one of us, that from all revival, many will come to hear and accept the good news of salvation. Lord, have mercy. And now, as the Lord Jesus Christ has taught us, we are bold to say, Our Father, who Lord art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy heaven. name. Thy kingdom Amen. come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Amen. O sacred heart of Jesus, to you I consecrate and offer up my person and my life, my actions, trials, and sufferings, that my entire being may henceforth only be employed in loving, honoring, and glorifying you. This is my irrevocable will, to belong entirely to you and to do all for your love, renouncing with my whole heart all that can displease you. I take your sacred heart for the sole object of my love, the protection of my life, the pledge of my salvation, the remedy of my frailty and inconstancy, the reparation for all the defects of my life, and my secure refuge at the hour of my death. I pray that you, most merciful heart, be my justification before God, your Father, and screen me from his anger, which I have so justly merited. I fear all from my own weakness and malice, but placing my entire confidence in you, O heart of love, I hope all from your infinite goodness, annihilating me all that can displease or resist you, imprint in me your pure love so deeply in my heart that I may never forget you or be separated from you. I beg you through your infinite goodness, grant that my name be engraved upon your heart, for in this I place all my happiness and all my glory to live and to die as one of your devoted servants. Amen. Amen. This concludes today's evening prayer. I am so glad that so many of you so many people from all around the world are joining us in prayer on a regular basis. We have people from parts of the world as far I'm here in the United States. I'm in the United States. And, uh, we have people listening to our prayers as far as Venezuela, Romania, South Africa, Germany, Italy, India, Canada, United Kingdom, Philippines. And that's just a few of the countries that are we having an audience. So these prayers are reaching.